Hi, my lovelies. Good morning, everyone. I hope you guys have had a lovely day. All right. I just want to talk about this Hilda and Dami issue because, I mean, for me personally, it's been very heated on my timeline because of a comment that I made. And to be frank with you, I am not apologetic about it um, because it is not okay for anybody to actually not be sound enough to Google or to search and to know where Dami is from and where Hilda is from. These are people, I mean, to be, okay, let me, I don't know if you guys have seen um, my YouTube, sorry, my Twitter comments and the comment that people are making about one of the posts that I was referring to. So like a little bit of background, okay? You guys know, you know Hilda. Now, Hilda was the one that actually did the shelf Hilda stuff and she won it and she was able to stay a long time. And to be frank with you, this girl has been waiting for her Guinness record to be admitted by Guinness Book of Record. And she's not gotten it. And, you know, she, but she's been appearing in different uh, endorsements, going for different meetings and doing a lot of stock shows and everything. And you know, you know how it is in Nigeria. To be frank with you, sometimes, yeah, I think we are worse than our government. Okay. Sometimes we talk about our government, our government. But we the people, we can actually be wicked to ourselves too. Now, um, okay, if you haven't, if you don't know much about um Hilda and what I'm talking about, this is the people like this is the girl. That's Hilda, and that's the dummy that is doing her own. Okay, let me tell you when I saw this story. First of all, it's not about dummy. For me personally, it's not even about the dummy. It's about the fact that when Hilda won, there was so much, you know, comments about her dressing and how, she, how she's selling herself and how, how she's a low show and everything. And to be frank with me, I didn't know where that was going to. I, I didn't, for a minute, I did not understand why people were talking about this girl's dressing, it's not as if like, you know, she's still dressing that way after the chef, because I, I took time to actually go through her profile, research her. I'm telling like, this is, this is, this is a girl in a class. This is how, this is how she dresses. Even before she wanted to go for this um, chef um, marathon or whatever she did. But then the attack on her personality, the attack on her way of life, it was too much. Even last week, they were calling her Oloshi. They were calling her prostitute. They were thinking that she was selling her body. It didn't end there. Now, this, it, it was just yesterday. I came on, on Twitter, because, because of course you guys know, Monday to Friday, I'm busy, I'm working, and I have other things to do. Then I came on Twitter and found out that another person wants to outshine her. You see, is this, for me personally, I call this the witchcraft spirit in Nigeria. I'm telling you. Hilda has not finished her celebration of her achievement. She has not even been crowned, you know, crowned yet. And you want to fight against your own country person. You know, when Hilda got this, she only said, her comment she made it for Nigeria. It was Nigeria. It was all about Nigeria. And, you know, we had this, you know, batch with the, the person, I think it was an Indian girl who had this thing before. And, you know, we're all laughing at them. So she made it to be in Nigeria. Now, why not wait for her to get the award first? That's my, that's my take. And this, this goes down to the roots and fabrics of our country, where someone has a company or you have an idea or you are doing something, another person wants to take you down and bring you down and do the same thing and take over your market. And it's not because I know people keep saying, oh, yeah, it's a Guinness Book of Record. And anybody, a record, anybody can contest. No, we're not saying they shouldn't contest. But at least wait for her to get her certificate. And this is why I don't get it. I don't get why people are supporting things that we know is wrong. That's why some people are supporting a drug bar run. That's why some people don't think, they don't reason that, what she's doing is wrong to them is nobody's business i mean why is that indian people they've not been fighting to you know to take over the person that won you know for their own country 
let somebody shine. Allow somebody's destiny to run a little bit before you want to take over. Why didn't the dummy go and, you know, look for another Guinness book of records to break? Why must it be Hilda's own? I know the annoying thing is that then people now start posting this religious bigots start calling dummy uh, a wife material, Hilda or Loshi. How dare you guys? How dare you? How dare you tag a girl or Loshi and call and who told you that being a wife material is by being in the kitchen or covering your hair or calling Jesus? I mean. The lack of education in this country and the way people reason, I do not get it. And that is why I went on this yesterday. And you know what? For every one of you that have been on me, talking to me, I will trash you back because you know, get sense. Sense, sense has been eluded you by your forefathers and your ancestors. Can you imagine? And you know, to top it all, though, please, they could help tell me, how is Hilda? How is Hilda Ibo Pico? Because this was the one that I saw that actually got me on this matter. I mean, yeah, you guys can call her Oloshi. You can call her prostitute. I mean, hey, she's not my sister. You know, consign me because I've been seeing all those comments. I didn't want to do a video because I've been so busy. I've not been on social. Apart from having my handlers, you know, do the work for me, do the news. I've not actually been on social. But when I saw this, to pick pastor's wife comment. I had to come in. What? Wait, 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 wait. How Hilda become Igbo? I mean, why is it that everything in this country must go back to tribalism? How is Hilda an Igbo girl? How, how can you open and then, you know the funny thing, the person that wrote this, she has close to 200 and something followers. And before I even made my comment, because I, I take my time to analyze things, I went to those comments, people, and you will see some. <coughs> Listen, and I've been saying it, all Yorubas are not bigots. All Yorubas don't hate Igbos. Oh, no, not all of them. Some Yorubas are so good, they know what is happening, and they are talking against it. But when you come onto a comment, and close to 70% comment from Yorubas we are actually attacking Igbo, and thinking that Hilda is an evil girl, that got me worried. And that got me to make my own comment. Listen, guys, you guys need to stop. Evils, they are not your problem. Well, they are not your problem. Evils are not your problem. Hilda is not an evil girl. So stop this hate. Stop the hate. Okay? Stop calling her Olosho. After all, I'm a massive woman, I'm a man, Olosho too. So why are you calling her? And she's making her Olosho and getting international. Try make, make your sisters and your mama enter Olosho. Go see if they're going to be international. How, you know, I, I get this thing gets me so upset. And you know, we're going forward. Any evil bashing, I will come on that tweet. That could have no sense. I think enough is enough. Evil just let you guys go and we don't want problem. No, 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 no. I know fear all day. Olo Ruburuku, Wereni, ah ah. Jeez. Any smart in Igbo? Any smart in what? You guys want hatred? Let's get on to it. And don't come on my video to tell me I'm promoting hatred. You guys are the one doing it. When we respond back, you guys come on our tweet to tell us that we are promoting hatred. You guys are the one doing it. But you know what you do? You can't stand someone attacking you and attacking what you are doing. And I will come for you and I will say it. I do not care. <laughs> You know, Nigerian politics and this election has taught us how wicked some people are and how the fact that some people will even sell their bad rights just not to just not to have anything to do with Igbo. But Una go so far. Una go so far. We got the laugh. We got we the go, changing everything. I won't change your change land use. Let's change everything. Evils are not your problem. Ibos have not been the one in the government for how many years now? We are not give us. We no care. Now we the rule ourselves. Now we put on ourselves for bondage. So leave Ibos out of your mouth. Okay, leave Ibos out of your mouth. And for once, for once, for once, say the truth. Be truthful to yourself, even before you become truthful to your own God. What this girl did was he right? At least let Hilda get her own 
reward, then you cannot, if first of all, it's called Guinness Book of Record. So let them record it now. Let them record it. Then you can now. You know. Anyway, Sha, for me personally, on this particular topic, here, if anybody come for me, I will still come. I will come for you. If you come for me, I will come for you. I do not care. All right. Hilda is not an evil girl. So please, please leave that girl alone. If this is why you guys have been attacking her and calling her Oloshe and calling her that what is she selling? You guys have a bigger, bigger problem. And if you come on my post to write rubbish, I will abuse you, abuse your mama, abuse your papa, abuse all of your family on top of me. Okay? Enough of this rubbish. Enough of this rubbish. We try to be, you know, nice, you know, come on, guys. And, you know, calling it was, you know, sometimes you guys think when you call us, I pop that we start crying. But yeah, that doesn't, it doesn't add anything to me. <laughs> I, I, I don't care. You can call me whatever you want to call me. It doesn't add anything to me. It doesn't pay my bill. But the point is that whenever you categorically bash Igbo, Igbo, Igbo as a tribe, I will come for you too. I will bash your mama, bash your papa, bash your children, bash everything. We're, we're feed bashing. Stop attacking Igbos. At least try and leave your region. And you will know that there are other tribes in Nigeria. It's not once, it's not Awusa, it's not Yoruba. They must be Igbo. Come on, for crying out loud. Akwaibam is not Igbo. Rivers is not Tekwari. It's not Igbo. Get it into your skull for once. Get it into your skull. Achineke Mezioku. You guys are just bigots. And I, you know, you know what? If I'm a bigot, I will I will hold it for my chest. I'll call myself a bigot and I'll hold it in my heart. Yes, I'm a bigot. But you know, the worst part, you guys don't want to hold. We have given you that title. That is what you are. Hold them for chest. Carry them for chest. That's what you are. And when we say, when you, when you make those your bigot comments, we will come for you. That is just it. And we'll call. Don't come and start saying we are saying. That's what you are. You're a bigot. Okay? And the lowest of all bigots, because Igbos have not done anything to you. They did not take your mama. They did not take your papa. They know they, they not be your side chick. We know they do now. So what is the problem for crying out loud? Yeah? What's the problem? What's the hate all about? Jeez. Guys, all these people on my Twitter talking rubbish. If you talk, I go talk back. I'm here on today. And I buy that. I'm not, my data now free. Free of charge data. So if you ask, if you talk, I talk back. If you talk to, I talk 20. Until I go get sense. And you know, you know the worst part that some of you, your wives are evil. Your side chicks are evil. Eh? Your baby mamas are evil. And I get them out, they talk evil, evil this, evil that. Evil who fool never. That no 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 fear. Hey John, let me just get out of this rant this morning. Enough of this. You have this. I mean, yeah, let her cook. At least tell your sister to tidy up where she's cooking. I, for one, can't eat that her food. And I've said it, and I'm, 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 apolo I'm, I am not apologetic about it. If, I gonna, if I'm going to eat, it must be presented very well like Hilda did hers. Hilda is a tough chef. Her presentation was top-notch. You cannot take it away from her. You is appetizing her food. So and they will carry poto poto and, and, and poo. Mix them together to make I can't eat. Turn that cap of food you see about her forever thinking that you guys will just go go go, go scot free with evil evil insults. My dear, Catch you, can you I, I, look? Hey, anyway, I don't want to say anything, guys. There, eh? support that me as you want to support. I'm not saying don't support, but do not come and start making this thing evil evil. Hilda is not an evil. If you were a person won't cook, we go cook our food. And we go still pass the Guinness record because we go support our own. Person will not get gas. She should they beg for money for food stuff when they talk. So that had she spent her own, I don't want to use the F word, her own money. She cooked and cooked and cooked. So never even reach one day. She asked us to give her money for, 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 for this one. You should you should never. Guys, I'm out of this.
No, be continue to be attacking me. I will attack you back. I will attack your mama, attack your papa, attack your, your children. Guys, I'm done. I never get sense. Try and get sense for once.